Hamden Park, the venue, the Scottish National Stadium. It's Celtic against Glasgow City. Tash Flint in the starting 11. Straight off. Two goals the last time these sides met last week. And Natalie Ross in with a, a tackle there. It's a bit late. And it's a yellow card for the Celtic midfielder. And the ball just went back to her. Just seemed to overrun it and a bit of a late challenge there. And I'm sure she won't complain. And here's Tash Flint with a chance to score! Checked for the offside flag. It's 1-0. Celtic take the lead at Hampden Park in the Scottish Cup semi-final. And it's Tash Flint again. What a signing she's been. The on-loan Leicester Stars get seven goals in 11 games since joining earlier in the calendar year. Caitlin Hayes stepping out from the back and Tash Flint puts the, the ball past Gibson to put Celtic 1-0 ahead. Now can City respond? Good pedigree. 14 times in a row they were champions before last season. But they were beaten in the Scottish Cup final last year and oh, what a save from Tahana, the Mexican goalkeeper. She's so reliable in goal for Celtic. And that was a fantastic save. That looked like it was nestling into the corner. Still 1-0. And into the second half. Ball falls to Jacinta. The Australian goes for goal. But Gibson saves. Ever impressive, the Australian, but wasn't to be comfortable as ever for Gibson. And here comes City again, looking to try and get back into this. And it looked like that was, took a bit of a deflection there from Jacinta. But Tahonar saves, but tricky. It was actually Lisa Robertson, the ball came off. Comes City again. That's a lovely slide through pass for Lisa Forrest. And it's saved by Tahana. The follow up goes very wide of the Celtic goal. But what a save again from the Celtic goalkeeper to deny the sister of James Forrest, the Celtic men's star. Lisa Forrest one on one with the goalkeeper. But Tahana saves. And Celtic remain in the lead. On to the right foot here, and Natalie Ross in there again. She has on the yellow card. This might be dangerous. There's another yellow. It's a red for Natalie Ross. Celtic will have to see out the rest of the game with 10 players. The referee brandishes the red card, and it's a free kick to Glasgow City. Another fantastic save from Tahana. You can hear the cheers from the Celtic crowd as we edge of Arcosa to full time. It's Gibson, and it's full time! It's another Scottish Cup final for Celtic. They'll be back at Hamden to face Rangers in the Glasgow Derby on the 28th of May. Can they retain the Scottish Cup? What a win for Celtic.